always a unifying moment for the people of Kenya. As Kenyans watch the TVs and the national anthem is sung. If I had known When I was young, I would have been a gold medalist. I did not know Iko Pesa, but like in his other to Mejua. So we are talking to our grandchildren to start getting interested in running because it comes with a bit of money. Please invest and invest well so that the name that you carry is dignified throughout your life. It will be very sad that after you are gold medalist, you have been to the Olympics. Later on in life, you are struggling, and people are asking what happened. That is the man, the woman we knew, who was a champion in the whole world, who is struggling like the rest of us here. So please invest and invest well. So let me take this opportunity now to ask all of you to be upstanding, and ask the president to come and give his personal congratulations, and also congratulate the Olympians on behalf of the country, Mr. President. Good morning, everybody. Team Kenya, hoye. Bonasiki sauti enu na muku wa Olympics. Nini wabunge na ani kila mtu mwenye hako hapa sauti enu ipande juu. Team Kenya, hoye. Tuwapige makofi. Na pige legele. Asante sana. Thank you very much. You can take your seats. I must say this, I am truly proud of Team Kenya. And I want to say, we gather here this morning in Eldoret, the city of champions, as we call it, united in celebration of the heroes and heroines of the Paris 2024 Olympics as they return back home to Kenya, the veritable land of champions. When I commissioned this team a few weeks ago, Team Kenya, to go and represent our country at the Paris 2024 Summer Olympics, I reminded you that you were both our best and the world's finest athletes. Today, I am extremely happy delighted to welcome you back from your successful mission in Paris. You undertook the calling and understood the burden of shouldering our collective aspirations and dreams as a nation on the global stage. And I say you did not disappoint. In Paris, our athletes once again demonstrated to the world that when it comes to endurance, determination, and the unshakable will to succeed, we are at the top of our continent and can match the best 
anywhere in the world. Just imagine, we became position number 17 out of close to 200 countries participating. And I think that's not en uh, enough. We became country number two in the whole world in athletics. As has been said here, there are countries who celebrate just to qualify to go to the Olympics. Yes, and I'm told number one is a huge country called the United States, which is almost a continent. <laughs> Leading this remarkable feat were our golden stars. And you know them. Beatrice Jebet here. <laughs> who not only conquered the 5,000, but also brought home gold in the 10,000 meters, marking her place as a true queen of middle distance running. And of course, Faith, the one and only, keep you going, <laughs> who continues to rewrite history with her third consecutive back-to-back, -back, as she says in her own words, Olympic gold in 1,500 meters and a silver in 5,000. And we all have a rough estimate of why that 5,000 went the way it did. Yeah? And of course we have Emmanuel. Emmanuel Wanyoni, who brought home gold in 800 meters, a victory that cements his status as a rising star in Kenyan athletics. And when I had a chat with him this morning, he just graduated as uh, the president of uh, Athletics Kenya say, from the juniors, now to the real game. And he has a bright future, as we all can see. <laughs> Let me also celebrate uh, Ronald Kwemoi who secured bronze in 1500. And Helen, of course, Obiri, and Benson Kipruto brought home bronze in the women's and men's marathons, respectively, reminding us that even in the face of challenges, our athletes, our athletes never lose sight of the finish line and will fight for glory to the tape. We saw them. And uh, sometimes we never understand the sacrifices that are made, the commitment that is put in place, and the determination over many hours, many days, weeks, months, and years for one to do that final minute dash and win. Congratulations to you all. Your victories are just not medals that you carry. They are symbols of our national character, a testament to what we can achieve when we believe in ourselves. On behalf of every Kenyan, I am profoundly proud of you and grateful to you, Team Kenya, for taking the heart, soul, and spirit of your fellow countrymen to Paris and shining for our motherland. Every time we saw the Kenyan flag, every time the Kenyan national anthem was played, we felt on top of the world. It was quite an emotional moment, and we are very proud to receive you back home. But our pride doesn't end there. As a country, we have set our standards and expectations extremely high when it comes to gold and championships and tournaments. While we acknowledge your impressive performance, we also recognize that our potential remains immense. Our athletics are increasingly or is increasingly under encroachment from countries that have studied, learned, 
and perfected our skills to our detriment. As a government, at the national and county levels, we must scale up our deliberate collaboration with all stakeholders, such as sports federations, to develop a sports policy framework that will address these gaps and stop what is going on so that we can progress our sports ecosystem to the place where we all want it to be. We all know why we have five, we have four gold medals. Because the fifth gold medal on steeplechase is missing. <laughs> Mr. Murkomen. <man. laughs> you know, when uh, immediately uh, Kipchumba Murkomen was sworn in, I put him on the next plane and I told him to go to Paris. And I am very confident that under your leadership, understanding very well, having learned in a school where sports, in a ten where sports was uh, a, a, big, a big thing, I'm very confident that you're going to lead this ministry into where the sports fraternity wanted to be. As we honor these heroes, it is only fitting that we do it here in Eldoret, the city of champions, the newest city in Kenya today. And there couldn't have been a better celebration of Eldoret City than to do it with these Olympic champions. For it is from these very highlands that many of our great athletes have been nurtured. Elevating Eldred to city status is not just a recognition of its past. It is a bold statement about our present and a major statement about our future. Eldred City is not just a title. It is a brand that resonates with excellence. It represents the journey of a young athlete who with nothing but a dream and a pair of running shoes and the support of a community can rise to become an Olympic champion. It is here in Eldred that the heart of Kenya's athletic success beats strongest. And it is here that we reaffirm our commitment to nurturing the next generation of champions. As we celebrate both our Olympic champions and the birth of the city of champions, let us remember that we are all part of this incredible journey. Together, we will continue to soar to new heights for Kenya is and always will be the land of champions. This morning is a great morning, ladies and gentlemen, as I receive Beatrice, Faith, Emmanuel, Kwemoi, Obiri, and all the good people. These people are great Kenyans. It is not always that on a global stage a country is celebrated. It reminds us as a country what we can achieve together. I want to persuade us as Kenyans to celebrate our successes. We are a great nation. I know we set standards, very high standards for ourselves, but I also want to dare say that even as we set standards very high for ourselves, let us remember to celebrate our achievements. Let us remember to celebrate our success. It is not always that you become number one in Africa. It is not always that you become number two globally in athletics. It is a major feat. Even as we criticize ourselves, we must remember to celebrate our success. 